you know those eerie feelings when you go when you are playing a multiplayer game and there's no one in the server apart from you for instance boot up minecraft right now and scope around for some deserted server that is running but no one is on Br feels pretty weird right well this is what my hobby was going around these barely running games and seeing what people had left behind not just minecraft either counter-strike team forces 2 world of warcraft all, i used all of these games to explore the special servers nearly every day i logged down what was on them buildings maps announcements on my then my friends i come along and white build on what i had logged in I would get paid about $50 for every server I cleared, depending on the size. So anyway, I'm just sitting here sipping on a Coke when my unnamed friend, due to security reasons, rings me up over Steam and says that there is a, this really big indie game map that was just abandoned, and he wanted me to check it out. He also mentioned that the map was larger than normal, so he would pay me around $100. So I accepted and downloaded the client... It was an old website. The design was pretty poor and didn't look very popular, so I speculated that I wanted to see just see if it was working. So I created an account and booted up the game. It looked normal enough. Sort of like Second Life. That game where you play your, as yourself and run around and buy blind build stuff. So I started the server maintenance screen and went over to some of the hosting stats and found that the server was being run from a single tower that had a proxy. So I couldn't list the location so I get to get a proper ping to report my friend. But since he was probably going to delete it, I guess that he was just going to make it up. I scanned over the other active servers and seemed like the only active one was this one. He was probably going to wipe it and demolish the company project, so I guess it's why I'm getting such a big bonus for it. I logged into the server, and the loading screen came up. Hence, a bar and some picture of people playing at the usual. After the screen had completed, my avatar had dropped into a little forest. I'm assumed that this was outside of any main city or town, so I just walked forward, hop hoping that some sort of tutorial would guide me around, but nothing happened. The graphics were quite advanced for a game its age. The forest spanned for ages, and the trees were like that of an Elwyn forest of World of, of Warcraft. I told of you all of this to my friends as we kept the channel for open for the fast information. After walking around the forest about 20 minutes, I came to this bigger-than-normal tree. It had a big door on the front of it as it looked as if next... It has been carved into the woods by hand. The kind of like the ones of the Nightmare Before Christmas. But anyway, it, the, the cur cursor came up with the interactions, a symbol, and the screen went black and my voice channel cut out. There is no loading screen, only the sounds of the poorly eight looped 8-bit music that was on the last loading screen. So, I waited, and waited until finally the game comes back in with my voice. The only thing that was entire tree is a big mirror. Totally separating the middle of the tree from the one other half, my character then walks up to the tree without my control and puts his hands towards the reflection. After this, I was suddenly brought to my desktop. Along with the icon of the game, all the files are missing too. The, H -H the HTTP was, has also vanished along with it. I asked my friend if he cut the server, and he replies in an instant, no. Anyway, he transfers the money to my PayPal and logs out. So I go to sleep that night, thinking about what I will spend about my $100 on as I drift into sleep. I wake, I wake up about six times that night, always seeing that damn tree. It's not even scary, it's just annoying. It's a vividly recreated mirror, just like the one out of the game. And I keep touching it. I get up around 6 a.m. after being unable to sleep and decide to hop on the computer for the weekend and rummage around about on Steam for about good ideals. I get about halfway through watching some of the Saint Row trailer when I get invited to play some CSS. 
The name was added to my friends, but I don't recognize him at all. The name was actually resembling mine. It keeps flashing and a couple after a couple of minutes. I decided to oblige. The server is pretty normal. Just a dust two with no announcements. And him under myself on ops and teams. It must be a peer-to-peer -peer because the server name is exactly the same as mine. I bet it's my friend pulling a prank after I go through the option and get my game all set. I decided to buy an AWP to shoot this guy with up with. But whenever I press the key, I have a sign that to buy in the game freezes and go back to normal after about two seconds. So I decided it was some buggy server coding and continue with the game with the trusty old Glock. After I uh, run out of spawn, I can hear a fair laugh giggle from the other side of the map. I brush it off, strip plug in, and keep running around. I can look for this guy about 10 minutes when I am about to leave, but I see him in the corner of my eye running under the walkway. I s follow him under, but when I reemerge from the other s side, I see not the other side of the map, but the inside of a big tree and the large mirror is stretched across my stream screen. The reflection of, is not of the terrorist I am playing as, but of me. Sitting there at my keyboard, throwing my headsets off, and check my webcam, nothing is turned on. What the hell is this? And the reflection of my hand extends from my mouse and begins cutting into its arm with its nails, smiling the entire time while it does so. The cuts start appearing on my arms, and he just giggles, and so does does so. I scream and turn off the computer before fading to black. My face is flashed on screen, all distorted and rotted. I waited about four days before turning the computer back on. I needed to do this. I tell myself I have to for work. I turn on the computer back to start Word. The program immediately shuts down and begins booting up Battlefield 3. What? I said loudly. I wasn't even using Battlelog. This is too suspicious. I am about to turn the computer off in fear. I see my doppelganger start going all cutty-cutty again. But I see inv I was invited by my old friend. Server's pretty normal. Just a squad DM on the Caspian border. I spawn and select my weapons. After this, I will tab and open the chat with my friends, only static. Hello? I said into the microphone, only static is returned. Come on, dude, don't do this now. I say in hopes of getting response, whatever, just play, I say. I run around the map, looking for my friends amidst from all the bushes and trees, lining around the gas station. I see a model run behind a building. It didn't look like a silhouette of a normal model in the game. I remember Dust 2 and... Decide to turn the computer off. I reach to the power and press in once. I look back down to my screen. All I can see is the trees now bare to the same door. Oh, shit. I say as I struggle to look away. The power wouldn't turn off as my character walks attended towards the largest of the trees. The door opens and the guest who's sitting against the mirror, sitting exactly like me. My doppelganger stares blankly into the screen. He's changed since the last time since I saw him. His eyes are sunken and his bones are now clearly visible over the fleshy creases on his face and skin. He grimaces and starts jabbing himself with a piece of wood. <laughs> ah! I scream as, I, as his actions replicate on my body. I reach for the cord as the pieces of wood and splinter cutting my chest. I finally grasp the cord and pull it out, the laughing and screaming die down on both ends of the voice channel. I am rushed into the hospital and receive around 60 stitches for my cuts and gashes. I sell my computer when I return home. A couple of days pass, and things are looking down for me. I lost my job after having too, having too many days off. I still thinking about my tree, my doppelganger. I began walking towards... The around the interior of my house, thinking on what I could do. I think about mirrors, me, insanity, and how I can overcome this bastard. And it clicks. The mirrors and trees, I need to get back to the game. Knowing the HTTP is downed, I realize I need to host it. 
I buy a cheap Dell computer from my local store and set up a peer-to-peer -peer host in the hopes I can get get me in this bastard's one room again. Server pings online as I entered as what I remembered to be the host. Hashes and strings from the code of any resued D I could find. After working about three days, I finally get the server back online. The web address works, and I brace myself as I click log in. The page is different. I had a, had a picture of me losing my job, as well as my loved ones and crying people being killed, beheading, torture, cannibalism, and decapitation lined my screen as the game played the same howling noise I met first met this doppelganger. I log in. The loading page is going back to once more as I once dropped into the forest. It's different. Gore and blood splattered the entire landscape and bodies hanging from the branches. They follow me with their black, cold eyes and my character progresses through the landscape. In real life, I'm shaking. The barriers of the game and the reality slowly drift apart as I advance deeper and deeper into the forest. I only am walking on my own now. No keyboard, no mouse, it's just me in real life. I continue falling over the corpses as I keep going. I have to do this. I keep saying to myself, I have to. Until I finally come to the trees. I brace myself and walk towards the main door. Screaming still ringing in my ears. It slows down to mere giggles as I walk towards the mirror. I cover myself covered in blood. A long and gated features black eyes looking at me. It starts rasping and crawling towards me. Raking the mirror as now is the time. I pull my, out my pocket mirror with all my strength and show to the doppelganger. I heard the massive burst of screaming echoes making my eardrums bleed as the mirror with my all willpower suddenly awakened my room. I covered in blood, my mirror laying to my left. I calmed down. It's over. Got up and collected myself. After a quick shower and a glass of water, I got my car, got in my car, and drove fast as I could to the nearest bridge over water. I got the mirror and threw it down into the water and began to watch home safe and a hero after defeating the doppelganger. That's why I'm writing this now, to save you the trouble of this. Be cautious whatever you join of any type of empty or abandoned server. You might to hear the last and giggles of echo towards you. If you encounter your own doppelganger, I fear the worst. A couple of months ago, the police dragged dredged lakes around the country in fear, found mirrors exactly like the one I used to defeat him my first time. I have a hunch he won't make the same mistake again.